Hello, good day. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Now I bring you most fancy a turn drive and uh, roll and off truck with crane. This one from LXYRC. So it got the most good quality and the final operation of it. Let's see all the functions of this one. So first we radio on and lift up the cabin directly. After lift up, you will see we put 2S battery here. Uh, that is the amp space, so XTCC connection. So here we have the imitating real engine box. So uh, shifting servo is inside. So shifting uh, gears here, that's the connecting bar. Uh, we have the, here the ESC for the pump. And uh, uh, that's the steering servo and the light board. So we have the volume switch here and the speaker inside the cabin. In cabin, also have a lightning light. This side, that's the drive ESC. Uh, this one is a brushed one, yeah. So pump, pump ESC motor is a brushless one. Here we have the simulated real cooling box. Uh, have a real fan, yeah. Box is a uh, decoration, metal one. Have a motor fan inside, it's blowing air for cooling. To sit the cabin back, here we lift up. Here the locking bar lift up. We can sit it down and uh, lock it. Put just directly pushing down, lock from here, yeah. Uh, sorry, the decorations, this horn, I just put on. So uh, for the glue, I didn't put, yeah, because it's for customer, they will put glue. Because after put, you cannot, the glue, you cannot pull it out. We'll have some uh, glue remaining, yeah. So this one, because, uh, have so many functions, more than 18 channels need to control it. So, uh, but for the EV uh, Paladin radio, Paladin light, it only have 18 channel setting available. So now the light control and uh, the middle transfer case differential lock, it is controlled by one channel and one switch. So light, also top. Also now, the, on the crane, this light is on. So the, because no have enough channel, the warning light directly power on, cannot change. Uh, later I will try to set up with uh, a risk guy XE radio because that's why you can set up so many uh, channels with different control switch. So later I will try to do with that one. Okay, so now it is at the drive mode, sound, So five axle, turn drive, front two axle for steering, two rear axle also for steering, drive at the low speed. You see the smooth, you can slowly speed up. So fine control, speed up, that's at the low speed. Reverse, see the reverse rear side light, left, right, reverse. This one is 15 kg, very heavy, but you see the steering, it's very smooth and uh, strong power for steering turning, both for front and the rear. And have middle transfer case, differential lock, so now at the differential for the middle transfer case. So can drive only rear side three axle, or front side two axle means rear side three axle and the front two axle power cut by the middle transfer case. Let's lock it. Lock will be all axle driver. Cannot stop here, yeah, all axle driver. Also front axle. Cannot stop all axle driver. Unlock. Is engaged. Let's see for the axle differential. So five axle, all have a differential lock. I can only push in on the chassis, yeah, not on the decoration box. Lift up, it's a very heavy one. Pushing on the good, so drive at the differential. Lock the differential lock. 
or wheels driver now. Unlock, disengage. So be careful, yeah? When you're lifting up, I'm only pushing on the chassis, on the girder, main girder, not pushing on the decoration box, yeah? So now see the speed, low speed, middle, high, slow down, slowly, speed up, brake, reverse. That's the three speed gearbox, shifting back to low speed. So the rear axle is simulating real truck can lift up and cut the power for drive. So it is operated by a screw driver motor and pushing the cylinder to giving oil to the cylinder to push the hydraulic oil and push the axle up and down. So it's, you can say it's hydraulic control also uh, with the differential, that lock, the wires, not differential, the power wires, yeah. Uh, we are pulling together to cut the power. So lift up. First we see it's driver with power. Lift up. Screw pushing the oil. The cylinder pushing oil go to another cylinder. It's lift up. So drive, you will see. This axle, rear axle, already cut power, but still can steer in together, yeah? Only the power cut li after lift up. Let's put it down. Drive. Slow down. I love this one, so finally control of it, and quite strong power, and later you will see the, all the material, very strong one. So rear side door can mechanically open, lift up, unlock, pull out, then this door we can pull it, open it. Now downside is locked, yeah, after when we dumping, it will be unlocked. Push in, lock it, in position, and this pushing down, locked, cannot open. So, now, at the driver mode for dumping. First, make sure you slide in this bucket to the front. When it is at the front, the downside, the lifting arm in the middle will be locked. So it's directly going up, not bent, not to roll off. Dumping directly. Dumping. So pump now running around 50%. You, you see the oil hose very small, yeah? So the speed is like this. If you want more speed, we can give the pump, turn it on, give a little more power. Pump running more higher load, more speed. So when you're dumping, this do not slide into rear side because when you're sliding, here will be unlocked, this one will bend and drop, the bucket will damage it. Dumping is dumping, no sliding. After you rising the dumping, rear side lock is unlocked, the door directly open. So now it's in position, almost like uh, 45 to 50 degree for the rising, put it down. Uh, one more minute, you can see, let's see the connection for the oil hose. So pump stop, that's the cylinder for sliding, sliding this arm to front and the rear. These two cylinders for rising, for dumping directly, also for roll off. So here, that's the rotation connection. So because this one, when you roll off, this arm will bend, so this one need to turn. That's the lock. When you slide into rear side, this one will unlock here, have the pin inside. It will unlock it, then the arm will bend for roll off. Continue drop it. When sitting back, door turning back, it will lock it. This hook is going up. When sitting on the chassis, lock the door. 
Okay, now let's slide into rear side and do the row of operation. Already in position, then raising the bucket, it will slide in, roll it off. At the rear side, that's the copper roller. Also roller on the rear side chassis. Also, this steel metal welding bucket is a very strong one. The metal thickness is very strong one. Rise a little bit and then we drive away. Stop pump. So here under the cover, that's the screw driving cylinder and the pushing oil for lifting up the axle. Lift up. Now it's in position. That's the wires. When you lift up, it will pull in and also cut the power for this rear side axle. Drop it in position. So after here we lift up, you will see the chassis, the rail, the thickness, double girder, yeah, downside and top. So it's very strong one. When you lift up, it's very strong. You don't see the deformation of the chassis. It's not turning. It's very strong. So lift up. Here, uh, we could see downside the axles for all driving. Uh, the top connecting road, I will just lift up from top. I can roll in it. So I will also turn around, pulling the chassis together. You will see all the axles. So it's dark cast metal and with a steel CVD drive shaft. And uh, here, this position, rear side steering servo. Mix control with front servo for steering. Yeah. So that's the downside. Another side the receiver, the well block, middle transfer case, and the middle transfer case lock to cut power for front axle and the rear axle. Okay, I will move a little bit. You can see more for its operation mode. I will drive mode. So steering, steering servo, connecting road. Middle transfer has power lock. Now it's unlock position, lock it. Unlock. Here that's the axle differential lock. So five, pulling five wi uh, wires at the same time. Now it's unlocked, lock it. Unlock. That's the bottom of the uh, gearbox of the engine part. So a cooler, actually it's decoration, but have a real fan. The fan is turning, blowing air. Front suspension, metal plate, steel plate. And from downside this position, here that's the filter. You can open and clean in the filter from this position. Important thing, all the hub is a CNC steel one, stronger. The most strong one steel. And also, see here, all the axle, the hub, it's with reduction gearbox, so all axle hub reduction. So when you're driving, you can see the speed very slowly start with high torque, high power, yeah. All hub have gearbox, reduce sp turning speed. Now we will take back the arm and uh, we will see for the working mode hydraulic crane how it's working with all the standing legs and the hydraulic crane. Rear hook, uh, this is the rear one, it's a steel and the rear bumper, steel one. And uh, the arm for standing leg, also steel. All the mud guard box, steel man. Uh, steel and only the cabin and the mud guard here is plastic. This steel box open inside there are five channel valve, five servo here and it's controlling the arm, big arm, middle arm, small arm reaching out so three channel and two channel for spare. In the future I will put grab to control. Close here that's the oil tank and here the cooler with the fan very cute, yeah, and it's metal, it's a real cooling, yeah. So standing leg and arms. So under the cooler, at the chassis of the crane, inside here, that's the pump. A small pump with a brushless motor. So turn around, let's see the right side, this steel box open. 
that's for channel 12. For channel 12 controlling the damper, uh, which it is, let's see, uh, one channel for the up, one channel for sliding, and uh, one channel for the arms reaching out, and the one channel for the legs reaching down. Four channel, four channel 12 is here. And also the first receiver here. Another receiver, it is inside the cabin. So two receiver controlling. Let's uh, pack back the bucket. And then we will switch into working mode, operation is the crane and the legs. Now we will switch into the working mode, operation in the crane. So first, we will legs out first, then we for safety, for supporting, yeah? then operating the crane out. Legs out first. So this arm is first moving. Because the resistance for each arm is not the same, yeah? the small resistance will come out first. Okay, all arms out now, in position, then legs down. This one, right side is coming first. See the power, yeah? This one we are lifting directly. See the axle, the, the tire, it's all up. Drop it, you will see. Drop. All the weight, 15 kg, already rising. That's the power of this one. So the arm, the leg, it's all very strong. So at the working mode, you cannot drive. Now you will see the operation for drive is now switching to operating the arm. First, big arm up. That's for safety. I already set it up, ready from radio. Because when at this mode you drive, if the tires touching the ground, you are damaging the legs. Yeah. Okay, middle arm rising. Let's first try to rise into the top. Top angle. Uh, another astonishing function is this turning plate is with electric slippery and hydraulic slippery. So all this containing all the way. 360 degree, you can turn it all the way, you don't have to stop it with two slipper rings inside. And you see the arm, the chassis, the thickness of the steel plate. You can imagine how strong this one it is. It's almost two minimum meter, yeah? So at this angle, we will reaching out the small arm, giving a little bit more power from the pump. Pump now mix control, all mix control. But for more power, you can switch on the pump at the idle speed, low speed, for more power. So all the arm reaching out is one valve controlling. So four cylinder supplying by one valve. All the oil coming to four cylinder, they moving together. See the details is all the holes protected, well organized. So four cylinder, so four arms reaching out. Last one. With this hook, you can hook up the cargo to loading and unloading to the bucket. Uh, in the future, yeah, I will put the grab for the two spare channel. More interesting to play, yeah, you can loading and unloading different cargo with a grab. And let's see. So now should be at the top angle. Yeah, that's the top angle. You can see that's almost 70 degree. Yeah. Okay, put it down. You will see, first the middle arm down, main arm down, you see the lens. You can even lift up cargo from the rear side and to the bucket. Also, loading, unloading the bucket cargo to rear side, you see the lens. Uh, we have other crane, it's a little bit short, yeah. So this one long enough, and we will see the power. So the arm from this, small arm from rear to front, to the hook, it's around 76. 76 cm. So the lifting from the bottom to the top is around 99 to the hook, yeah? If to the top of the arm, it's around 103. 99 and 103. Let's test the lifting power. So the battery, it's 0.86. So turning to a little bit rear, we drop it, hook it up, 
can directly hook like this. Okay. Going. Now, twice battery, yeah? And uh, pump, no start. Only miss control pump at 50%. So I will start pump, giving a little bit more power. Rising. At this angle, let's try the rotation. That's the strongest. Do you see? It's, is the rotation shaking? No. So the rotation the arm is all finely attached with small clearance and a strong material and enough power. 360 degree turning. Yeah, if you want to see, let's rise into the top. This is a beautiful piece of crane and the damper. So let's take the arm a little bit back because the bucket is at a little bit front. Yeah, restore it back. Need a little bit more power because when with the cargo, it's pressing the all the arms more resistance. Yeah. Because its uh, arm is pressing on the arm, more resistance is contacting. So now when you with the, the cargo is heavy, 0.86 kg, it's, it will need more power to withdraw it back. Imagine you bring this one to the playground. Uh, maybe let I change it to XE radio. This one will be the most beautiful machine on the playground. I'm sure everybody wants to play it one to one with their own. Let's drop it. Uh, we can move a little bit more back. Still at the rear side. A little bit more to the front, drop at the middle. Okay, good. So uh, normally for real car, the main loading area at the middle on top of the rear side axle. So at here, the weight will be sitting on the axle. Let's drop it. Release the hook. For sitting back, the arm normally we sitting at the right side. When finish loading, the arm take back. So front arm all back. Then first the middle arm take it back. Then we sitting the main arm down. As a front arm, we draw back to the dead angle. When in position, we drop the middle arm. Okay, so here this is only stickers, yeah. I, I put not so perfect, so later we'll put new stickers. Drop, in position, drop, middle arm, drop it. And uh, align the angle to be or to be vertical to the main chassis, yeah. Turn it in position, continue, drop it. So you see all the connecting bar, the holes, it's really beautiful arrangement. When sitting uh, from this angle, here we have our arm, this blue one, we are sitting on the pin. This side have a pin here, we will be pushing on it for secure the lo location. We we'll secure the arm on the pin. Yeah, it's a little bit. Can rise in the pump? Not exactly, because when I operate here, I didn't take the 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 middle arm all the way down. So take the middle arm more back. Drop it in position. Now you see this lock arm is sitting on the pin, so it's all secured. Standing legs up, moving one by one. It's taking, this side is moving up first, so let the left side will move in. Come to see from this side, you see different legs moving sequence, not same, yeah? Right side already up, so the left front will be the last rising. Okay, it's so going, going up. After all going up, we take the arms back. 
after all secured, we shift him back to drive mode and we dump in this cargo. Good, all in position now. So shifting back to drive mode. Do the dumping, sliding to the most front and rising. Uh, because this one is a big cargo, yeah. Let's see if we can push on the door to open from the outside to drop it. If the battery not lean one side, cannot pass this arm, yeah, on top. Uh, it's no. So this is too tall. It only can be dumping like this, yeah. <laughs> Continue. So when we loading the arm, when I loading with the crane, I better pull in the the battery was sitting. I can pull in the battery by the arm to sit it down, yeah. Then do the dumping. According to different size cargo, yeah. Okay, drive away. The wires is still stuck here. Okay, then we drop it down. Low speed, slow motion. See how slow it can be, let's see. Very slowly going. So you don't have to worry about your driving skills not so good, you can drive it slowly to do the adjustments. Slow down. Speed up, brake, reverse. Thank you very much. That's the roll off on damper with crane from LXY RC. So 5XO turn drive with middle transfer case lock with axle lock. And uh, astonishing is all the hubs have speed reduction box and uh, front to axle steering, rear axle steering, also rear axle can lift up and after lift up, rear axle cut power for drive. Lifting by hydraulic, yeah, screw pushing hydraulic in position. Let's go. Rear axle cut power, but still it's turning together with the front. Thank you, I will bring you more models and the uh, next step uh, maybe I will try with another more better radio to have all the controls light separately and make fine control more smoothly operation on the hydraulic. See you.